Hi, I'm Ryan, a year 2 student currently pursuing a diploma in electrical engineering from the School of Engineering, and you are watching Of Course MP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of an MP student from my course is like. Welcome to Makan Place at Block 51. This is how I start my day by getting the standard coffee and toast. I am also reading the free straits time the school provides to have an understanding of what is happening in Singapore currently. Now we will be walking to where most of our classes would be for electrical engineering or EE in short. Welcome to RP4, the module I am looking forward to as it aims to integrate the knowledge I have learned in the semester and apply it to real world projects and further enhance true relevant contextualization. Let's take a look at the software we are using, which is LabVIEW. LabVIEW is a laboratory virtual instrumentation engineering workbench. It is a system engineering software for applications that require test, measurement, and control with rapid access to hardware and data insights. I enjoy this because it is very hands-on and I get to develop my skills through real-world projects which connects theory and exciting applications. If you guys are concerned that this workbench is too complicated, no worries, there's actually a very comprehensive guide on how to navigate around the workbench. Now I'm heading to the library with my friends to enjoy some aircon and rest before my next class at 1pm. Now you must be wondering what are some of the reasons I choose to go into electrical engineering, so I will share a bit more on that. Why did I choose electrical engineering? Honestly, I enjoy doing math and science and I knew that I wanted to be an engineer since I was young. But why electrical engineering? As the world is leading towards sustainable development and Singapore is heading in the direction of solar photophonic, there is many opportunities in the electrical engineering field. Hence, I decided that this field is something I wanted to explore after secondary school. In my course, we will be taking on a fair bit of programming and virtual instruments. Please do not be discouraged if you don't have any programming knowledge, as all engineering students will start from the fundamentals in year 1. We are all here to learn after all. What specialization options are there in electrical engineering? The diploma offers two very relevant choices in the growing sector, clean energy management and power engineering. Both specialisations help develop and promote Singapore growing sustainable practices. Personally, I would go into power engineering because I enjoy learning about generation, transmission, distribution and utilisation of electrical power. Hence, I would like to build my foundation under power engineering to be a licensed electrical engineer in the future. It is time for me to head to class now. I will catch you in a bit. Alright, let's take a look at this module called PLC and Automation. This module explores the concepts of interconnecting control systems to form networks and why is that important. We all know PLC is everywhere, from machinery on factory assembly lines of Tesla vehicles to our amusement park rides Universal Studios Singapore. Having PLC knowledge will give us EE students an edge in lending us a job in being a controls engineer. Right now, the lecturer is teaching us how to navigate around the software and to get ready the components for future labs. We are learning about the concepts of few devices, syncing and sourcing. My lecturer also covered the basics of industrial automation today. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed a day in my life and tell us in the comment section below what course would you like to see next.